Hi guys, my name is Mona Lisa Newbig. I'm a certified raw food chef and health educator. Now I'm and making a raw red meat gazpacho. So many of you guys think like, gazpacho, that's already raw. What's there to cook about it? Yes, it's raw, but um, usually they use canned tomatoes for original, for authentic gazpacho, but I'm gonna be using raw, fresh, organic tomatoes today. So I'll just use like three cups of tomatoes and put them in your blender. You won't need a cooking pot for this gazpacho recipe. Put your tomatoes in there and red beets. I like adding red beets because red beets contain high levels of iron. And many of us women have iron deficiencies, especially in this particular time of the month. <laughs> so we're going to add some red beets to our blender. And we're going to add other vegetables such as cucumbers, which you find in the original gazpacho recipe as well and red bell peppers. Give it a nice, sweet, rounded flavor. All right, just toss everything in your blender. And you can spice the soup with whatever spices you'd put in your regular gazpacho. So that's usually cumin seed powder, which I got here. A little bit of that in there. And this is also very good against flatulence. People, they get gassy, especially when they first transition to raw food. They're not used to the high enzymatic food. They get kind of gassy. Cumin is going to cut that gas. And we're going to put um, garlic, fresh raw chopped garlic in there. It's nice and pungent and garlic is also a natural antibiotic. And we're also going to add one to two tablespoons of onion powder. You can put fresh onion in there if you want. Although I find onion powder works really well because in terms of flavoring, it's almost like a natural MSG. Of course, we're not cooking with MSG in raw food cuisine because we're not going to put any in your toxins in our food. And then we're going to put some Himalayan pink salt in here. So we're not using iodized salt. And again, we're going to put our liquid aminos, which is a natural. Uh, soy sauce replacement. Original like, gazpacho does not contain any soy sauce, but this will just bring out the flavors beautifully and nicely. I'm gonna put some apple cider vinegar as well. One or two tablespoons, up to you, up to your preference. Do not put too much, otherwise get too sour. Apple cider vinegar is, by the way, also very good for accelerating the metabolism. Then we're gonna put a quarter cup of cold pressed I'm speaking about extra virgin cold pressed olive oil. So this is the first cold pressed of the olive oil. If it doesn't stay first cold pressed extra virgin, it means that it's probably the second, the third, or the fourth pressed, and probably even expelled under heat, which turns the fat into trans fat, including olive oil. So don't cook your olive oil, but drizzle it on your food after the cooking. We're doing raw food, so we don't have to worry about this today. And we're gonna spice it with a little bit of cayenne pepper. And if you wish, you can add a bit of lemon juice. Lemon juice will make it nice and refreshing. This is not in the original recipe. This is like okay. adding coconut lemon sugar. Juice. I'm gonna add a little bit of sweetness to this. If you don't wanna have to put a sweetener, even though coconut sugar is low glycemic, it's not raw, but it's very rich in minerals. If you do not want to add a sweetener, you might as well add half a ripe mango here in, uh, to your soup. It's going to sweeten it naturally. All right. Good. It's yummy to me. So it's liquefied, but it's not too smooth. Just the way I like it. And you put this in a nice serving soup bowl. And then we're going to add a couple of toppings on top. Make it look pretty and to add a bit more texture to the soup.